Uh, I play a man named James in uh, the program What Holds the Future. Uh, I'm one of the I'm one of uh, two performers who uh, portray this character. Uh, he's a man who lived and worked in the royal governor's palace. Uh, John Murray, the fourth Earl of Dunmore, specifically, uh, one who uh, tries to take up the royal governor on his offer of freedom to anyone who would cross the British lines and support the British in the growing war effort and the conflict between the uh, uh, continentals, the colonials uh, of America, and uh, the British. So with that, he is captured and returned and then sold at auction with the rest of the people who were left behind in the palace. A lot of the inspiration that I draw from uh, James comes from how I feel about being a black man in America today. So um, it's that constant paranoia, it's that constant uh, sense of, uh, of uh, place, having to be very hyper aware of where you are, who you're around, what you have on you. Uh, what time of day or night it is, where you are in the country, um, all of these different things play a role into how uh, comfortable or uncomfortable or how in place or out of place you feel uh, in this country and that has been this circumstance for people of color in this country for centuries. Get on up there! Ah! Ah! Now, if you can behave yourself, I'll leave you here with the rest. But I'm gonna be close by and if you give me one more bit of trouble, I'll make you sorry you was ever born. Same goes for the rest of you lot. When you leaving, you say, now, I say, and uh, he say, let me just go and get my things. Before we knew anything, four white men busted in, grabbed us all, took me and Thomas, dragged us over to a tree, tied us up to it, and now, uh, Knew what was coming next. That uh, hot, sweaty hand at the nape of your neck ripped your shirt down, and uh, we waited. We waited. Hushed voices behind us, and breaths taken, and you hear the sound of leather slicing through the air. <laughs> lash after lash. <laughs> Flesh tearing, blood running. And <laughs> sound ripped through my brain as the leather stripped my back. I, I pain was so bad I couldn't see, I couldn't think. I thought I was screaming because I heard screams, but it wasn't me. It was Thomas's two boys screaming, watching their daddy get whipped. You imagine hearing your children screaming your name, ain't nothing you can do about it. Uh, Somebody carried them boys off to God knows where, and I could hear them screaming before they pop in between the whip, the snap, and the tearing of skin. And uh, I swear to God Almighty, I never would have done it if I thought I was doing it without George. 